Ma'am, have you thought about the moral um, implications of what's going on here? I actually don't go to this clinic and I watch some of your videos on Facebook already. Uh huh. I was just wondering if I could take some pictures of y'all signs. Sure. I go to a different clinic. Do you? Do you yeah, but, but do you they, know? They support our um, Braving and Fertility group. Right. So I'm part of a support group so for you, you infertile do, women. You do realize, though, that they do discard embryos and they do freeze embryos and they do send embryos out for experimentation so i've been through seven iuis and two ivfs i've never destroyed embryos and there's how many do you do at a time there's at least at least 10 women that i know of that have given their embryos to yeah. other women donate to give life to their embryos so yeah, i have two friends that actually took other people's eggs and had babies actually you have babies right you so know? i just don't i mean my my issue with y'all being out here is that infertile women don't you know they already feel shame and they already feel guilt walking into a clinic and having y'all yelling at them that it's against god my biggest thing is like God gives all life. Correct. Period. Correct. So I agree. Whether, yeah. So whether science is involved in that or not. Yeah, they don't actually create life in here. They're just using another method to inseminate the egg. Right. Instead of a man's penis, they're right. using a yeah. So, so it's still so God that creates life. So we are to believe that yeah. that God gives all life, right. whether science is involved in that or not. Right. What are I don't have a problem with the science. The problem I have is that she just calls it viable tissue or non-viable tissue all right that's what she calls it and the issue that we have is when an egg is um fertilized when it becomes an embryo because we believe life begins at conception me and my husband do as well right nobody should take any viable embryos i'm sorry any embryos period okay. and kill them okay but like ours ours died off on their own well that that's okay that's not you know i i don't think that's morally wrong okay. all right but when they it, it depends on how they die off all right and like if they're just put out in the sun <laughs> and let them die off on their own right so like that, in that's my first bad. ivf we started with 23 eggs we ended up with two we put two back in right. neither one of them took our right. second ivf we had 16 we ended right. up with one we put one back but usually what happens they is they actually test the embryos, right? And they say, testing. right. And they'll say, oh, we don't think these are, are healthy enough. So they will kill those. All right. And we think that's wrong. I know what PGS testing is. We were going to do it with our second yeah. IVF strictly because I lost my son in 2014 yeah. from trisomy 18 yeah. after our, after our IUI. And you know, I, so as a Christian, I would carry any embryos, whether you told me something was wrong with right. them or not. And that would be the right thing to do. And so I our, our doctor said, when we ended up with one, I asked our clinic, I said, why did you PGS test one? Why did you take tissue out knowing that we had one and send it off? I said, because you basically just wasted $1,500 out of 3,000 because yeah. you don't need to send it off because I'm putting it in anyway. Right. And our RE ended up saying that actually creates an ethical issue for us because right. <laughs> because we know that something could have been wrong with it and you're right. gonna ask us to put it in anyway. Right. That ends right. up being an issue knowing that it could right. be tested. Right. You know? Yeah, and like I'm they like, said they could tell if okay. a kid's gonna have Down syndrome. Right. Well, and we I'm like, to, should Down have, syndrome kids yeah. be killed? And she's yeah. like, no. And I'm like, but you wouldn't put a Down syndrome fertilized egg embryo in a woman. What you know, are you doing? What are you representing? and we ended up early miscarrying. Yeah. Um, the reason I'm out here talking to him is because I have been through IVF, and I saw that they were out here the other day, and I called the clinic to see what they were doing because even though I don't use this clinic, yeah. um, DFW Fertility, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Dallas IVF represents Braving and Fertility, um, which is a large fertility support group. And okay. so we planned on coming out, not not uh -huh. under braving infertility, but a few of us independently were going to come out here and support the staff yeah. um, and the patients because we feel like they're being harassed. 
Um, and that's that's not against y'all. It's just yeah. I saw in one of your videos that you. I'll let you go. I work for. Yeah. We just didn't know because yeah. we were, I work on the other side, but we're an OBGYN, and we were like, yeah. "What's going on?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. um, Have a good day, ma'am. You know, in one of your videos, I saw that you had used a louder voice yelling at a pregnant woman who was walking into the clinic and my issue with that is you don't know that she's she has um done any of those things to her embryos right. she could have been like me she could have had one embryo right. left and and that right. was her that was her miracle right you know i it, it's right. well just so you know like i know it sounds like we're yelling at them yeah. but when it's w windy like it was the other yeah. day like in the traffic for uh, for them to hear us at the door like when they talk to us we can't even hear them so we're just raising our voice so they can hear us i mean i'm not like away. like watch ma'am did you know that ivf you're actually choosing which kids live and which kids die like more children actually die at ivf than at planned parenthood most people don't know that but it it's amazing what's that i'm sorry i still didn't hear you Oh, I was saying IVF, uh -huh. all right, is choosing, you choose which kids, they choose which kids live and which kids die. They test and they say these kids are viable. They call it viable tissue or non-viable tissue, but they're actually um, impregnated eggs, they're embryos. So we believe life begins at conception and no man should decide which embryos should live and which embryos should be discarded or which ones should be frozen or which ones should be sent for scientific study or which ones you know just go on the, the waste treatment so and that's what they do in here and ivf that's what happens in ivf and they'll take 15 20 it used to be 30 40 eggs and now they've they've got it down to like 15 20 and they'll impregnate all of them all right and then they'll test them and they'll choose which ones like don't have down syndrome or don't have a disease or or you know have a per, they're as perfect genetically as they could pick them and they'll implant those eggs the rest either get frozen or discarded or you know they keep growing them for scientific study so what we're saying is is you know like i'm a christian and there's moral ramifications for that because the bible says that god is the only one that decides who lives and dies all right he has dominion over man man doesn't have dominion over man like we we used to say black people yeah, we, but i'm trying for a long time five six years so i'm not getting pregnant so i need baby right but you know in texas there's 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted in the foster care program they'll the state of texas will pay for you They'll pay for everything. They'll actually, the kid gets free college, free medical care until it's like 21, until the child's like 21. 13,000 kids right now that nobody wants. You know, and you know why nobody wants them? Because they're not newborn babies, all right? But there's older babies. And you, I mean, the desire that you have to be a That's mom is a great thing. Not true, we're pursuing adoption. I'd like to get you a braving infertility card. It, it is true. I've I've fostered to adopted six I've kids. I've been trying for nine years. I just wanted to talk to him about IVF. Yeah. Let me get you a. I've adopted six kids from the foster care system, ma'am. It is true. They do pay for all medical. They pay for the adoption. They do murder children in there, ma'am. Don't don't be part of that. Pray to God. It's God that'll open or close the womb. God creates life. So, I mean, honestly, they kill more kids in here than Planned Parenthood does. More than abortion in, through IVF. Do y'all yeah. protest in front of abortion clinics? Yes, ma'am. And, and churches. And churches. Why churches? Because everybody that goes in here is almost everybody's a christian yeah, I heard pastors even do that quite a discussion with a pastor yeah and and you know most pastors most churches are pro-choice even in texas like right. the presbyterians and united methodists and you know they're 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 pro-choice you know and even the good ones all right the good biblical sound churches 
they don't oppose abortion. They don't do anything to help make it illegal. You know, they don't. I mean, they say they're pro-life. They'll have a good moral opinion. But they don't, they don't do anything. Like, they'll help crisis pregnancy centers, which are a good thing to do. I'm not saying that's bad at all. It's a good thing to do. But that'll do nothing to help end legalized abortion in, in Texas or in America. It was kind of like if it was legal to, to rape women and pastors were like, I'm against you know, it's wrong to rape women. We shouldn't rape women. We're like, well, help, help us make it illegal. Eh, I don't want to do that, you know, but I think it's wrong. Like, my moral position is it's wrong to rape women. That's what it's like with abortion and IVF. They don't make a stand. They don't come out and say whether it's okay to kill what they just call viable tissue, which is an embryo, you know, so. So to understand better, you're not against them dying off on their own. Like once, once they're made, you're not against people necessarily going through IVF because right. they're infertile, but you are, you don't feel like PGS testing should be done and then us discarding the ones that have the trisomies or are going to lead to miscarriage or things right. of that matter. Right. I don't think that's gone. Yeah, basically that's right. But okay. I don't think anybody should go to a doctor that okay. actually does kill or toss embryos in the trash that are alive all right i don't think they should go to that type of guy it's kind of like going to like one of hitler's doctors and go but the crowns are really cheap you know i mean that's like why i go there sign paperwork it's like donate to science donate to a couple right how do you want you want or, your embryos to go to they'll grow your embryos and experiment on them well my choice personally was to donate to to a couple Right. All right. That that right. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know. We I know kids. We have any. I know kids. You know that are like two years old that are really seven years old. Right. And like <laughs> I've told you before, yeah. we know several people, and and we were actually pursuing embryo adoption after mm -hmm. being told in November that we didn't need to try with my own eggs, and still are interested in that. But then we had a private right. adoption unexpectedly placed in our lap, and that's that's right. what we will be pursuing this week. Um, I just wanted you, even though you see plenty of faces, obviously, yeah. this this is a face of hurt and pain and nine years of of extreme shame and and guilt. Mm -hmm. And and these pictures like this, yeah. this does not this does not represent fertility. That's just no, that's it, my it, personal opinion. It doesn't represent fertility. No, you know, it doesn't. Not, not well, because that kid's way older than, like she said, well, these kids don't have a heartbeat. This to me is more abortion. It's abortion. That, it is abortion. That's we just abortion don't have any. That doesn't happen here. I know, but we don't have any IVF signs yet. So, okay. you know, but we want people to see, you know, because we're, we're not ageist either. So we're not, a kid can get to a certain age and then you shouldn't kill it. But before a certain age, you can kill it. So we think that's wrong, even if it's, you know, two days old. You know, so that's that's what we're against is when any person decides that this egg isn't going to live or we don't want it and they kill it. That's wrong. Like we don't we don't believe that should happen. And as far as your shame goes, I know it's hard to, to say, but there shouldn't be any shame. All right. There, I mean, I know that you want to be a mom and it's very important. And the desire for you to be a mom would make you a very good mom I know and through adoption all right like a lot of girls they've tried their whole lives to get pregnant they adopt and they get pregnant I mean it's an amazing thing and they're happened to our youth pastor they yeah. adopted three kids from Ethiopia and had two of their own right it's, isn't that isn't it, why does God work like that that's amazing but you know what there's so many orphans in Texas I mean get this there's 30,000 churches in Texas there's 70,000 pastors there's literally 13,000 kids right now in foster care waiting to be adopted and nobody wants them because they're not babies I don't you know I think that's that's a hard call to make I mean we, we raised a child for nine months um, who wasn't through the CPS system um, he actually belongs to my third cousin um, and and he stays with with my mother now um, we're giving her a second chance um, without our heart being ripped out of our chest um, so we still see him um, and that situation taught us that we did not want to foster through the CPS system so I think there are other situations that keep people from 
from going through this well, DPS system. Okay, well, just and there's probably a lot of stories like mine or unlike just so mine. You, yeah, just so you know, that is shameful. And like, we have one of our daughters that we adopted who was raised by a Nazi family that sold crack, and she told her the judge that um, the mom that she could use crack and still be a good mom, and all their rights were taken away. This is a girl that's been jacked up beyond belief and if you came over to my house you would probably love her because she is funny but she is messed up i mean she would say things about she would make comments about you that would be totally inappropriate oh, and I'm wrong she doesn't have grace upon yeah grace she doesn't upon have grace. a filter right? right but we've stuck with her she's a hundred times better she got a c plus average in school this year you know where she was a total failure and everything that she did you know and we do that not because we want kids we do that because these kids need a loving home the bible says in jeremiah 1 7 that true religion is taking care of widows and orphans we're supposed to do that how can we have 70,000 pastors and 13,000 kids that are going to age out of foster care i mean all the kids that we adopted are from 4 to 13 you know and they, they they've been in gay and lesbian homes I mean, they've been abused in the, like the foster care system is evil and wicked. Christians need to be adopting these kids out. You know, they need to adopt them out of the foster care system. But instead of taking care of the orphans that we have, we go and we create more. We freeze them, we send them off for experimentation and we throw them in the trash. And that's all we're saying is, if you're going to do IVF, do it morally right. And don't do it with a guy that kills babies for a living. Because that's part of what he does. For a living, he kills babies, right? He'll take embryos that are alive. They're dividing. They're growing. And they'll say, ah, uh, that, that one's not viable. It's not the best egg. That you know? have enough chromosomes or has trisomy. Or... Right. And they throw them and they kill them. And that's wrong. You know, and it's sad. And I'm, I'm not trying to like cause you shame or hurt. What I'm trying to do is in the spirit, all right, show you what God's word says, that God is the creator of life. It doesn't matter if it's in there or it happens naturally, okay? It's still God doing it. But we should not determine which ones live and which ones die. And we shouldn't go to hell for, with a man that says which ones live and which ones die. And they don't, they call it viable tissue or non-viable tissue. And it's a human. And, that, and that's all we're saying. And, we're and just that's what Christians are going out to the abortion clinic and saying, like, it's not tissue, it's a baby, and the same right. thing should apply in here. Right. And just let's be consistent. And Christen, Christendom, all right, should address it. But it's not, you know? Like, these churches don't, like, come out with a position paper. They don't try to stop it. I mean, pastors are coming in and actually disposing of babies. You know because they want to make sure you know and then like some people have like three girls already and they, they don't want another girl yeah, that, <laughs> no, so. that's horrible you know so we're just opposing the bad part we're not saying the good part right, isn't good when i called the receptionist she said that y'all said infertility was evil and that i don't agree yeah with. i i don't inf <laughs> infertility is, like we didn't choose that yeah that's not evil so. and it's not it's not good either it's just like you know, a person can't get pregnant right <laughs> you know so i will say i looked further down on your page uh-huh and i'm sorry that you and your wife suffered a miscarriage yeah. i don't think that should happen to anybody um that's sad right so, like it was a child even yeah. though it wasn't viable tissue like they would say i'm in prayer for that yeah. and i'm in prayer um we have nine kids like, for, kids are awesome. I love kids. For compassion. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the ladies walking in here. Um, and so thank you for talking to me today. Yeah, thank you. In a All respectful right. manner. All right. God bless. Thanks for talking to me too.